All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you some techniques for creating fake fish nets. I just grabbed a uh, image here off iStockphoto.com that we're going to use for reference, and I'm just going to suppose that in this image, for whatever my purposes are, I would like to add some fish nets either to her legs or to her arms. And how would I do that? It seems like a really intricate process that would be difficult to do if you didn't shoot it that way, but you can edit it in with a little bit of effort. And I'm going to show you a few different techniques for it. The first and the fastest, but the least flexible technique, is to add a pattern overlay. And you can do this by going here to the bottom of your layers palette, choosing create a new fill layer, and you're going to go to pattern. Now, automatically when it pops up, it's going to pop up probably with your default pattern or whatever your pattern uh, that you used last is. And so what I'm going to want is a grid pattern. So I'm going to take this pattern fill dialog box and I'm going to look for a grid pattern. Now if you don't have the patterns that you see here in mind, you may need to go and load the pattern from one of the preset uh, patterns that comes with Photoshop. Uh, in my case, I'm using Photoshop CS3, and the grid pattern is under Patterns. So you just click on that and then append your pattern uh, dialog box, and you should show it. So I'm going to go down and look for something that looks similar to a grid. Here's a grid, and that's going to work for my purposes right now. I'm just going to go ahead and use this. Now I'm going to scale it down a little bit because it's a little bit larger of a grid than I need for the size of the image that I'm using. So I'm going to take the scaling down, in this case, uh, to around 88. I'm going to hit OK. And now I have my grid setting over my background layer. Uh, and so what I'm going to do here is, in the set blending mode for the layer, move it to multiply mode. And what you'll see now is I have a black grid overlaying my layer and uh, I can now go about forming it to fit wherever I would like the uh, fishnets to be. So in this case I'm actually going to need to scale it down. So I'm going to zoom out so I can see the entire thing. The grid is much larger than I'd actually need for fishnets. So I'm going to first rasterize this pattern layer. Dang it. So I'm going to first rasterize this pattern layer and the way I'm going to do that is just by right clicking on my layer and choosing rasterize layer and what that does is it now um, it takes away the pattern overlay you won't have the dialog box or the option to switch the scaling anymore and it makes it just a flat rasterized layer and so now that I've done that I'm going to hit control T which is the shortcut for transform you can also go to edit transform and uh, I'm just going to hit control T and go to and it'll take you by default into this mode right here where it will scale it down and I'm gonna scale it down now I want to scale it proportionately so when I'm scaling I'm gonna hit the shift key and hold it down and just drag the scale of it down and I'm gonna assume that this this part we're gonna put onto her leg and so now that I've scaled it down to about where I want it, I'll move it around and uh, get it about the scale of her leg and hit OK or double click or hit enter. So now I have fishnets and they're sitting there. Uh, they're the wrong direction though. I need them to cover her entire leg. So I'm going to scale it once more and I'm going to grab the rotation bar and rotate it up. So now you see it covers the part of the leg from where her uh, material here for her clothing ends down to where the material for what she has wrapped around her leg starts which is that's the area I want to cover so now that I have it like this it looks nice it's not bad and uh, if you were just doing it fast this would work but I would like for it to look a little bit more like it fits to her leg like it's formed to it or wrapped around it and right now it just looks a little bit flat the best way to do this would be to use the warp tool which you can find through the transform dialog box we can go down here to transform warp and it'll bring up these bars uh, now without explaining in depth how the warp tool works let's just say that you can uh, have a lot of freedom of the movement of your 2d image your layer with this warp tool using handlebars and uh, 
adjustments and for our purposes now I want it to look squeezed up here and on the bottom as if it's disappearing into the horizon so I'm going to grab this bar bring it down and just start shaping it to fit my girl and her leg and uh, you would have to do a little bit differently depending on the image that you were using uh, but once you get the hang of using the warp tool it's really not very difficult to warp it to fit something like this to where it looks a little more realistic now I'm gonna warp it just a little bit around her knee to where it has kind of a stretched effect as if it's going around her leg and when I get it pretty close to what I want I'm just going to uh, hit enter and that'll save that transformation now you'll notice that it's going everywhere at the moment it's spreading uh, in places that I don't want it on her clothes and everything and when you create the pattern layer it automatically added a layer mask to your layer which I'm gonna take advantage of right now I'm gonna go to that layer mask select my brush tool B is the shortcut make sure my opacity is all the way up to a hundred percent foreground color would be black you can get that by hitting D and X that's a shortcut for resetting your foreground background and X is a shortcut for switching between black and white and now that I have black as my foreground color and I have my brush I'm just using a standard round brush here I'm gonna mask out the parts that I do not want I'm doing this with a soft edge brush just to give myself a little bit more room to play just in case I make a mistake so it doesn't look so hard edged but you can use a brush to your preference so I'm going to mask it out around where her clothing is and just leave only the fishnet effect on her leg I'm even going to take it off this other leg because it doesn't look properly formed now I could uh, go through these same steps for the other leg and achieve a pretty fair fishnetting pattern. Of course I could rotate it if I want the fishnets to be running a different direction or a different angle. But I'm going to show you one more technique real quick for making a fishnet without using the pattern in the event that you need a wider uh, fishnet or you need it a little more customized and you want to make your own. So I'm just